Okay, it is a new month and a new deck, or an old one in this case. Um, I have not unboxed this, but I have been sitting on it for quite some time because I was originally going to be in a mage game. And that just did not happen. So, I think I took the cellophane off, but unless I'm forgetting, I've never actually been through it. Oh no. I hope this is not an indication that it is not the original deck. I would be very sad. Oh, apparently... I have no memory of the cards, but it looks like they have been shuffled. Interesting. I have to admit, it's not the artwork I was expecting. But I wouldn't say I dislike it. For those unfamiliar with Mage the Awakening, it's a tabletop roleplay game. Hmm. I will admittedly be very sad if this is a knockoff. Particularly because I chose to unbox this instead of another deck that is a knockoff um, that was given to me. Hmm. Always support your creators. Unfortunately, we have to do copious amounts of due diligence now to try to find legitimate decks. Okay, so the art style, is it, a, maybe it's a, is it different pursuit? And why are these ones in order? I'm confused. I don't dislike it though. Yeah, see, these ones are in order. What gives? Ooh. Okay, this is a phenomenal Ten of Swords. I'm doing it again. I'm getting hooked up on the swords. <laughs> Every time, I always get like caught by, ooh, look at these swords. Hmm. The cardstock doesn't feel bad. I'm hoping this is not a knockoff. I think it's an older deck, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up and see... If I can credit the artists, I always try to, but they're not, there's no booklet. I'll have to dig in. You'll know whether or not I succeeded by whether or not it is in the caption of this video. And if it's not, and you know who they are, please, please comment. One of the reasons I do these walkthroughs is just so everyone can admire the hard work tarot makers put in and just the beautiful results of their efforts. Ooh, I like this weird root wispy thing instead of the cloud. It's fun. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, wow. Check out the tower. Yeah, these majors are cool. I admit, this deck was not at all what I thought it was going to be. But it's interesting. I'm curious to see how it reads. Wow. 
What is going on here? I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I'm sure some of these things are references to the game, but I didn't get to play. It was put on hiatus, which is why I never opened the deck. Okay, absolutely love that. Hmm. Okay. Let's see about mixing it all up. Mm -hmm. Normally I don't have enough time to do this on camera. I go too slowly. Mm -hmm. I like to get a good wash shuffle because I am a reversal reader. And I just get everything all mixed up before doing good old fashioned regular shuffle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the backs of the cards. They make me want to hang out and do the wash shuffle for longer. Okay, come on. Back together, everybody. The only danger with this is, um, as you hear me say in almost every video, I am hard on decks, I am hard on boxes. And the wash shuffle is a good way to bend your cards. So um, if that would traumatize you or deeply upset you, don't do that. Because um, I have definitely bent cards. Ooh, ooh, it slots nicely. I have a feeling this is going to shuffle really well. It's really smooth, really light. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. Those are two very uneven piles, but that's okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is nice. Hopefully that's an indication that it is not a knockoff because it's got good cardstock and they usually don't. Okay, so how are we gonna work with you? What do you want us to know? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So we have the page of pentacles reversed. And this one literally has the kind of like finding an opportunity vibe to it. Pulling it out of a treasure chest. And so it's finding opportunities within by reflecting on this deck. Um, I'm guessing the Queen of Swords reversed. Maybe about the lack of guidebook. All the words will come from within. It's not going to be a deck that adds to the tarot canon unless I can find a book for it with its own interpretation. So there's nothing external to study. Mm, okay, this makes me nervous. Is this not aligned with the current dysfunctional transits? I did pick it because I was thinking Mage and Virgo season coming, but let's throw a clarifier. We have time. Let's have fun. Okay, so what is this? Is this the Four of Swords reversed? Okay, ooh. It's funny how I just went through this and it still feels like I never saw this card. But with the Four of Swords reversed on the current transit, there is kind of a restless energy to the deck that it's bringing out that may not be quite so soothing given what we're already going through. So what do you most want us to know, deck? What's going on? How can we best make use of you in this relationship? <laughs> I feel like it may have just said, this is not a relationship. It's a relationship with yourself. Interesting. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. I feel like this deck is a little opinionated and a little prickly. But so am I. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to keep shuffling it after I say goodbye because I think we're in deep reversal territory still and I need to make sure it's fully mixed. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you for the stars and cards.